Hello there. So I wanted to make another quick video regarding Squad. It's another one of the main games I do play. And especially since they just released the ICO combat overhaul update. So this update basically reworks all the mechanics regarding the infantry uh, section for this game. Such as movement and most importantly PIP scopes. Now this video is not a tutorial on how to play squad, it's more so how to pump out the most FPS and then get a smooth experience and also benchmark uh, some issues you're having. So most of these uh, recommendations and most of my knowledge comes from Moidog's video, so credit to him. If you guys want to go check out his video, it might be even better than this. So go into settings. Uh, field of view, this is important. Uh, you can go all the way f as little as 90, which is default, all the way to 120. Now, the problem is, uh, with 120 f with the field of view is that you have to render a lot of things within this field of view, right? So, obviously, that takes a toll on the FPS. Uh, and also, 120 looks a little bit weird. It's a little bit funky. So, I played around with it a lot, and in my experience, I feel like anything around 100 to 110 works best, but I use 100 because I think that's a, the sweet spot in the middle. Now moving to graphics, window mode, go to full screen, always full screen, resolution, in any video game out there, right, I would always recommend using the native resolution of your monitor, right? because anything lower, your monitor will have to try to downscale, which will lurk which will look worse. So let's say you downscale to, I don't know, 1280 by 720, 720p. This 720p will look worse than it will on a 720p monitor that's native to 720p. So always the native resolution. The resolution scale basically means the percentage of what is displayed. So 100 means 100% 100 of 1080p. Let's say you were playing on 1440p. That means 100% of 1440p. Now, if your system, if you're conscious that your system is within the mid range, so it's pretty good, but it's not the best, then I would recommend always having a value above 100. Unless you're playing on 1440p already, then I think you're fine. But if you're a 1080p gamer like me on a high refresh rate monitor, but as we all know, squad will never reach 240 frames constantly, and 1080p is a little bit too blurry for this game so to see enemies easier to make your life easier I would recommend turning this up to 105 110 keep in mind that small changes as much as 5% can make a huge difference in the performance so play around with that uh, 60 to 40 of course you don't need 240 frames in menu never turn on vsync as I said before vsync is never the answer I uh, would we'll use DX12 uh, for graphics quality. Put on custom. Over here, these are this the these are the PIP scopes. So, so the picture and picture scopes. Uh, for many people with lower systems, this will take a huge toll on your FPS when you aim in. You'll stutter like crazy, and game will die. But that's just what it is. If you enable A, you can change these two settings here, prioritize clarity or prioritize AA. I don't use anti-aliasing though, so it's not applicable to me, but if you do, prioritize cl clarity, always. I would put that, put this at 100 because you don't need anything higher when you're aiming in. And then, I would put it at, at unlimited, but if you're experiencing some FPS issues when aiming in, definitely try toning this down. Now, if you do have AA enabled, just use medium. I mean, this doesn't really make a huge impact on your FPS, and the samples just make whatever it's smoother. But I don't use it, so. So if you're playing on 1080p, don't use S FSR2, um, because it makes the game a lot more blurry, even on quality. If you try to pump out as much like image quality as you can, it's never gonna be native 1080p, and as blurry as 1080p, 1080p already is. I would not want anything lower than that. Maybe if you're playing 1440 or 4K even, definitely enable FSR2 because 
you're not going to notice that much of a difference. View distance, dynamic mesh quality, put it on medium. Turn off low quality environment unless you have, a extreme, have an extremely potato computer. Then enable low quality environment, but this is not going to look too great. For shaders, put it on low. Don't enable tessellation unless you need to see those rocks. Put textures on medium. Uh, I put uh, an anisotropic filtering on 16 since I just, I value, I extremely value a more clear image over any form, any number of frames per second. So, but that's just me since I already reach a decent, I wouldn't say decent, I, I reach a minimum amount of frames per second. I reach around, I average about 90 frames per second. But, you know, you know a squad is some when things go on that your FPS can drop very low. But then this helps you see enemies easier. So I put on 16. I would not uncap texture pool size. For shadows, put it on low. You can't change this option unless you go to epic, but just keep it on low. You don't need shadows. Um, unless you really you're really concerned about how your game looks. I don't use any of the ambient occlusion options and I don't seek the benefits either. I put particle quality on low, ocean quality on low, post processing I put on low, I mean I don't need it. No lens flare, no motion blur. I put screen sharpening on the one. I'm playing around with it. I don't really notice the difference. Probably because I'm on ten eighty P and I don't even have I have post processing on low, so it it's not pretty much it's not gonna matter for me brightness 100 don't tamper with these unless you know what you're doing so that's pretty much it for graphics now moving on to how you can see your performance in game so I'll load up into a training session real quick now keep in mind that over here it's not gonna be um, accurate your FPS is gonna be a lot higher because there's nothing going on in the server. Now I'm pretty sure I just joined. Welcome to the regional training yeah, center where you conduct your workout one. before you deploy. All right. But anyways, as I was saying, your FPS in these training ranges are not going to be accurate because there's not merely nearly as much going on in these servers. It's just you. There's not 99 other players shooting each other. So obviously your FPS is going to be marginally marginally higher. Now to show you guys. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I guess I'm Chinese now. Um respawn here. So you can go into training range and then if you open the console, you type in stat FPS. That'll give you your FPS. So I have around a hundred frames right now. And then you type in, open the command console again, if I know what I'm doing. Okay, stat unit. Now, this brings up a whole lot of other things you can see right below FPS. So, it brings up the uh, input delay, which is around 10 milliseconds right now. You can see frame, game, draw, GPU, and a bunch of other stuff we don't really need. We basically want to focus up for the four things frame, game, draw, and GPU. So frame is, I believe, basically your input delay. It's the same number under your FPS immediately. The game is the time your CPU uh, takes to render everything. So the lower your game time is, that means your CPU is pretty, it's working pretty well, which it is right now. And draw is the time it takes for the CPU to n communicate with the GPU, to send instructions to the GPU. So if that time's low, that's also pretty good. And the GPU is the time that uh, it takes for the GPU to do whatever it needs to do, which is the same number, of course, under the FPS. So anything, so here, you want to, of course, it's different here in the training range. But when you're in an actual game, go ahead and enable this and see what your numbers are. You generally want everything to be under 20 milliseconds. 
if you have anything close or over 20 milliseconds that's a problem and if your draw time is very very long that might be indicative of a CPU bottleneck or yeah a CPU bottleneck or just a bottleneck in general so you might want to look into that you never know what might be causing some of your FPS issues so that's that that's pretty much it again shout out to Moy Dog for most of this knowledge um, if you want to go want to go watch this video I'll put a link in the description that's about it